The KBGV 10 Cup Coffee Maker by Mocha Master. Mocha Master coffee brewers are handmade in the heart of the Netherlands. With their brew volume selector, you can choose to brew half or full carafes. Be ready to brew up to 10 cups of coffee at a time. This pump free coffee maker heats water to the correct temperature for extraction. Its drip stop sensor stops the flow of coffee when the carafe is removed. It will quietly brew your coffee and automatically turn off after 100 minutes. Mocha Master Brewers have a 5 year warranty. Meet your Oxo Brew 9 Cup Coffee Maker. Here's how to start. Attach the mixing tube to the carafe lid. Run a water-only cycle the first time you use your coffee maker. Fill water tank to max fill line. Select the 5 to 9 cup cycle. Press the OXO button to start. Place a number 4 cone-shaped paper filter into brew basket. Add medium ground coffee. Close the lid. Turn the dial to display cup setting menu. Choose either the 2 to 4 or 5 to 9 cup range. This sets the right brewing time for optimal flavor. Press the OXO button to start. Pause and pour lets you remove the carafe to pour a cup of coffee during brewing. Put the carafe back within 60 seconds to finish brewing. When coffee is ready, the coffee icon appears. The freshness timer will count up to 60 minutes to show coffee freshness. Keep your coffee hot longer with the Black & Decker 12-cup thermal programmable coffee maker. Featuring premium double-walled vacuum insulation, the stainless steel carafe keeps coffee hot for hours, preserving fresh taste and flavor. The exterior stays cool to the touch and condensation-free too, making it handy for tabletop serving. The innovative Evenstream showerhead maximizes water distribution over your favorite coffee grounds for premium flavor extraction. The generous 12-cup capacity Perfect Pour Carafe seals airtight while its unique design prevents drips and spills for no mess pouring. Plus, the specially designed wide mouth opening makes for easy cleaning. Large buttons are easy to find on those early mornings and provide a number of settings for a customized brew. If you don't want a full carafe, select the 1-4 to four cup brew option that maintains the full flavor of a full brew. Plus, the brew strength selector lets you personalize your coffee taste. Fully programmable, the digital display allows you to schedule your brew for any hour of the day. Monitor your coffee's freshness with the Fresh Brew Timer, which displays the amount of elapsed time since the coffee was brewed. The Black & Decker 12-Cup Thermal Programmable Coffee Maker. Meet your OXO Brew 8-Cup Coffee Maker. Here's how to start. Plug in your coffee maker. Run a water-only cycle the first time you use your coffee maker. Fill water tank to the max fill line. Push the power button. Then, push the 5 to 8 cups brew button to start. Here's how to brew coffee into the carafe. Start by sliding the switch all the way to the right to select carafe. Snap the brew basket into place, ensuring the handle is down. Then, place a large paper coffee filter into the brew basket. Add medium ground coffee. Close the lid. Add filtered water to the water tank using the measurement markings to fill to the desired level. Never use distilled water. Your coffee maker will use all of the water in the tank for every brew cycle. Make sure the empty carafe is in place with the carafe lid fully screwed on. To begin brewing, press the power button. Then, press the 2 to 4 cup or the 5 to 8 cup brew button. When brewing's complete, your coffee maker will chime and the brew button light will turn off. The power light will remain on for 15 minutes after brewing is complete. Here's how to brew directly into your coffee cup. Slide the switch all the way to the left to select mug. Ensure that the brew basket is securely in place. Then place a large paper coffee filter into the basket and add medium ground coffee. Add filtered water to the water tank. 
Never fill above four cups or 20 fluid ounces in mug mode. Only use as much water as your cup or mug can hold. Place your coffee cup under the brew basket. Remove the well cover for taller cups. Or turn the well cover over for shorter cups. To begin brewing, press the power button, then press the two to four cup brew button. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart Perfect Temp 14 cup automatic programmable coffee maker. It's beautifully designed. It has a housing of stainless steel and accented buttons. It has some great coffee technology that we use to make hotter coffee and lots of great features. First, you'll notice it says carafe temp. And when you press this button, you have options of low, medium, and high carafe temperature. And that's adjustable. And why would you want to use that? It's because if you're someone who puts a lot of milk in your coffee, you'd want to set this on high. But if you don't put any like additives in your coffee, you take it black and you want it a little bit cooler so you can drink it right away, you can use medium or low. The other thing you'll notice is um, there's a tone button. And the tone button allows you to completely turn off the audible sound that um, beeps when your coffee is ready. And some people tell us sometimes when um, the coffee maker beeps and goes off that it makes their dogs bark. So that's a nice feature if you want to keep your dogs quiet while you're enjoying your coffee at home. Here you'll notice there's a clean button, a bold button. So if you want your coffee to be uh, have a bolder strength or flavor, you use that feature. His a uh, brew off and auto off, programmable and auto on, and also a one to four cup setting. And the one to four cup setting is important to use when you're making one to four cups because it adjusts the brewing so that you still get a perfect cup of coffee in the end. So here's the carafe. And you'll notice the handle has an axe on the stainless steel, has a knuckle guard on the inside like many of our uh, coffee carafes. The id lid is easy to remove, gives you your measure markings here. Easy to put back on pop it right into place. It also has a little um, brew pause feature, which I'm going to show you how to use in a few minutes. But first, let's um, look at the inside of the coffee maker. Here in the back, this is your filter holder. You just pop that open. And this is the filter that comes with your charcoal water filter that comes with your coffee maker. I already prepared it to be used. It was soaked and rinsed, which you need to do. Just follow the instructions in your manual um, to take care of that before you use it. And you just slip that right in the back. Here is your permanent gold tone filter. You'll notice I already put coffee in here because we're going to brew some coffee. And I like this because it's reusable. It also makes sure that you remove the sediment. Um, but if you prefer very, very little sediment, you should use the paper filter. And these are number four filters. We give you um, several of those to get you started when you get the coffee maker home. There's also on the side here, I'm going to just turn this around so that you can see it a little bit easier. There's a water window, and that's where you're going to add your water, which I'm going to do right now, um, by using the water window as a guide. I put enough coffee in here to make six cups, so I'm just going to pour this in. And I can actually see the water window from the inside, so I'll stop pouring when I get up to six. And then all you need to do, turn the coffee maker on, and it's going to begin brewing. The other thing that's nice about this too is it has a pro programmable function which allows you to um, program the coffee maker to go off in any 24 hour period. It also has an auto off feature which can be set so if you are in a hurry in the morning and you don't want to worry about turning your coffee maker off before you actually leave for work, you can set it to go off after zero minutes to four hours. So then you don't have to be concerned yourself with it. The other thing I mentioned is it actually um, has a brew pause feature. And the nice thing about that is that when the coffee starts brewing, after you have a, a cup or so in there, and you don't have the patience to wait for the pot to be fully brewed, you can remove this and pour your coffee. It's just starting to get brewing now.